the shop. Oh, yeah, to the hotel. What you mean? Okay, and what's what that mean? You already know the type of time I was on. I was included. You not trying to fuck? This nigga shot. Fuck. Nah, just pull this bitch over. Pull this bitch over right now. I'm, I'm ready to get out. A little bit lighty, man. How am I looking, y'all? Feel me? Forget about that. We put out back here with another banger. Today we're gonna react to Jack TV. Will she catch her boyfriend cheating with another man? Oh my god. Thank you. Yo, I did not mean to do that. Cheating with another girl from the club. Loyalty test. Yeah, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, blah, blah, blah. Follow me. Subscribe. Welcome back to another episode on Jack TV. Today, Cheyenne wants to put her boyfriend's back to the loyalty test to see if he was truly loyal to her or not. So nice to finally meet you, Cheyenne. Thanks, um, This is Gabe. He's my security. You know what I'm saying? That's Drew. Uh, let me ask you a question, right? If y'all in a relationship, trust issues like this girl's having, right? Are y'all doing this? Like, are y'all doing a loyalty test? Or are y'all just going to leave? Because it's like... I don't know. How about communication, to be honest? I don't know. But this this gonna work. This gonna this gonna test. It's gonna work though. Whatever. whatever. Um, what stood out to me about your story is basically that you left your whole home in Mississippi, came out here, was with your boyfriend for seven months. You're alone. You have no family out here, and for him to switch up on you like that. Can you kind of go into more detail about like why? You got to this point. Uh, Thanks to Cheyenne, distance. we knew that Stag was celebrating his 25th birthday at Dome, giving us the perfect window opportunity to test his loyalty. He used to take me out with him all the time. And now it's just like, he's been changing up. Like he's barely answering the phone. He's barely um, texting me back when he go out with his homeboys and stuff. So my intuition just telling me that he cheated. Straight to the point. So um, outside that's of his homeboys, that's... do y'all have mutual friends? Like not... cheating. Straight to the point. So um, I'll... Exactly true, but I can see where she's coming from. That's like signs. That's like red flags right there. Outside of his homeboys, do y'all have mutual friends? Like when he's doing shit and you at home, do you have things to do or did you meet new people from being out here? Yeah, I have a few friends from uh, being out in the club, but we don't have any mutual friends. First red flag was the fact that Cheyenne's boyfriend did not invite her out to celebrate his 25th birthday. However, he could have just wanted to do something with his friends and afterwards do something more intimate with her alone. But that still didn't rub Cheyenne the right way. Okay, so outside of him just not inviting you out, are there any other red flags? Yeah, the red flag is basically it's supposed to be his birthday weekend. He's supposed to be going out. He, he didn't invite me out with him. He, oh, he didn't yeah, say I could come with him for his birthday, so. What? Yeah, so. But did he tell you not to come? Well, he said it's just him and his boy, so uh, I guess no girls allowed. Number one excuse. I don't know. Like, it's kind of weird that Number he wouldn't no, invite me. That's definitely me, you weird. Know, that's definitely them. weird. Um, for his birthday. You know? Do you know where they're going? Uh, I think they're going to be at Dome. Roommate versus roommate. I think that's the name of the club, Dome. Okay. So uh, what we can do, um, if you want to do something close to his birthday or on his birthday, you just have to send me those details and we can kind of okay. just try to draw some up to try to see if we can execute a test or not. Okay. Um, if you have any questions for me within that time period, just go ahead and feel free to reach out okay. or any concerns. Even if you don't want to do it no more, just let me know what's up. Okay. And this is how we came with the idea of Cheyenne gifting her boyfriend transportation for that night. The plan was for Cheyenne to tell Stag that the transportation that she rented out was for him and his friends to get home safe because she didn't want him out driving and being intoxicated. Oh, how come every time we go to Atlanta, bro? That's a girlfriend right there, bro. Like, you cannot do that, bro. You can't be cheating on good girls, man. I'm not gonna get into it, bro. I'm not. Hey, come on, bro. So yeah, look, we just left Atlanta. We did a consultation hey, with somebody, girl, and we bought there for no reason because I don't feel like they're gonna do it. But good thing about it tonight, we gotta be with here. Cheyenne, and we are gonna execute her test tonight uh, with her boyfriend Stag or whatever. We ain't going to Atlanta no more, bro. At all, bro. See that line hey, hitting me. Are you Jack TV? Yeah, what's good, bro? Hey, what's up, man? What's I good? Watch your channel, what's bro. What's up? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up? 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 I got you. Hey, man, I want you all the time, bro. Uh, I got you. All right, man. Yeah, appreciate that, man. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, yeah. See, we got to go to the grid. Hey, man, that's what's up, man. Hey, uh, that cash out stuff, that's the real, bro. Yeah. <laughs> hey, bro, can you, like, show me the uh, technique, bro, so I can check it out? Did you try to do it already? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, look, just go to my, go to one of my videos, click no. on the end of the one. No. Your description? No. no. Not, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm like, hey, keep that. I'm like, use that, right? 
<laughs> I just did a whole promo, bro. But the plan was to actually get our decoy to go to his section and make her way on the van so she can actually test his loyalty. So tonight we're conducting this loyalty test and this is actually the first time. Yo, by the way, I'm in the lounge and there's mad people walking by. So if I'm looking at a different direction, just know I'm looking at other people. I'm that Cheyenne and Micah, the decoy, actually get to meet. So we're going to go ahead and discuss the do's and don'ts like we always do. Cheyenne, this is Micah. Micah, this is Cheyenne. Hey girl. Girl. She'll be playing the decoy for today's video. Okay. So now this is the perfect time where decoy. you can tell her what she can and cannot do while she's conducting the test. Well, basically, I mean, I don't have no, uh, no limits. You can do anything. Like, I don't care, girl. You I just want to see, yeah, I just want to see you do my ball for it. Okay. So I don't care. You can go as far as you can go. All right. As far as you want to. All right, man. So before I reach out oh. to you earlier. Oh, yeah, it's getting hot. It's hot as shit, man. Back in my room with it, man. You know what I'm saying? Got to change. It was getting a little too hot. Today, I was actually thinking about going into the club and conducting it here only because um, the fact that he might be intoxicated or under the influence, it may, like, up the integrity of the test. So. You don't really drink that much, but... He'll probably drink some, but he probably won't be drunk, though. Okay. He'll never get drunk. Based on what he do, like, how much would you blame on the liquor? I, mean, I wouldn't blame it on the liquor, but you <laughs> he's gonna make, yeah, he just, like, and he's gonna make the decision he wanna make, nice. so it's all on him. How she said that, because most girls be like, oh, this is a liquor. Whether you drunk as hell or not, bro. Well, I'm speaking for the girls right now. If you let a nigga rip you out of your clothes, then it's like... That's on you, nigga. So, Michael, when you go in, he's gonna be in section 26. All you're gonna do is approach him, and you gotta act like you're just a party girl. You know okay. what I mean? Go up to him, you know what I'm saying? Flirt with him, make make sure he knows that you know that you feel like he's attractive, and then, you know, try to go home with him on some group shit. Okay. <laughs> I know that's not yeah. ideal, yeah. but we need you to get back to this van. All right. Okay? For sure. So, were you able to give Stag the driver information? Like, does he know he got a driver after he get out the club? Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. So, hopefully everything goes right, being that they intoxicated, and let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. It might What's be up, man? Good, bro. Hey, bro, I know I met you for the first time Stop yesterday, bro, me, but bro. Stop playing with me with this uh, 50 you cash app shit, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. Diane will be in a car with me and the team watching everything that goes down. Will Stag pass his loyalty test or will he prove Cheyenne right and fail by making a pass at our decoy on his birthday? Let's find out now. So you guys, Stag's section was already full according to what our decoy came back and told us. After sitting Micah in the club, she texted us and informed us that his section was already full and it was very hard to actually get to him. And according to his Instagram story, it wasn't hard to see that. So we waited a couple hours outside of the club you guys waiting on stag and his friends to come outside because michael wasn't able to make her move inside of the club on stag this is her only opportunity to make her move right now so we can see where this goes excuse me hey light skin you good how you doing damn girl hello yeah, what you, what you, what you I picked you in the club. I was trying to see. What y'all? My friends dished me. They dished you? Yeah, like, you know how you be. You look at what it is there. You ready to go? Nah, but, like, you really too bad. Why the fuck I got nobody to say nothing? I don't know, but, like, what y'all? This your man? Yeah, this my little guy. He looks drunk. <laughs> if that's the dude, I don't know who the dude is, though. That's the dude. He looks drunk. I'm not gonna lie. And he sounds drunk. Oh, what's up? Yeah, yeah, this my this my other friend. Like, you trying to you trying to you trying to slide with me? This your me? friend? Yeah, we trying to go to the after. I was trying oh, to. Oh, this how out. nice. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, right, for sure, for yeah. sure. Trying to, you trying to go where? You trying, you trying to pop out? We trying to go to the after. Yeah, for sure, for sure. For I, I, I can fuck with y'all. Come on. Okay, then. Come, come on. Wow. So he 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 yeah. brought into the van. That was easy. That's oh, an automatic fail for you. That was way too easy, bro. Way too easy game. That's ridiculous. That's dead ass ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. From a girl's point of view too though. Like that's ridiculous, bro. You already bring her into the Yeah. Oh, this bitch is nice. Yeah, I did lie. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not yeah, make sure we follow them so they, they won't get away. Huh? Huh? What's your name again? Micah. Michael. Yes. Like Mike and Ike. Like Micah. <laughs> like Mike and Ike. <laughs> so what's your name again? Mike. 
Yeah. Hold on. Where are your friends? Bro, not here. Not here. Not here. Is, we was in the club. This is already a rough flag for the dude. That's, all, that's already one right there. For literally four hours. <laughs> you went on no hoes. I know it. Bro, I'm finna get Bro, we just gonna pretend he's not here. Pretend he's not here to come. Just chill. Where is God? This shit here, bro. Damn. My bad. Come on. My bad. So you stupid. <laughs> so this explains why he didn't want me coming out with him tonight. Man, nah, cause this right here, bro. This so you was here for your birthday? Man, yeah, it was my birthday. You know what I'm saying? I, I really don't be celebrating shit like this. So it was just on some cool shit. What do you want me to say? Hey, uh, Java. I need you to go ahead and slide to the Marriott, bro. It's about that time. Oh, God. <coughs> Wait, so he said he was going to the Marriott? Yeah, that's what he said. He didn't say nothing about going to the Marriott. He just said he was going out with his homeboys and going home. <sighs> Snap your W. Oh, my son's a good liar. Yeah. Uh, the Marriott, the address that I sent you. What's happening in there? Girl, don't play with me. Girl is crazy. Tonight, baby, baby, don't play with me. Tonight is not that night. So I gotta worry about somebody liking on your hotel room or something? Why would you have to worry about all this? I'm just saying, you look like you got, you know. Like I got what? Something going on. What about me makes you feel you like that? You got a couple situations going on, but what like. What about me makes you feel like that? I don't know, you just handsome. You're real handsome, but I'm like. Lie, baby. I don't even know why you playing with me like that. I'm saying though. You, you nah. single? You're cat. I'm very much single. Like, single. Yeah. This nigga just said he's single. Oh, yeah, you might as well just end the test right here, gang. Okay? He's not gleaming you. He's, he's not. If I was a girl, I would just ended it right there. Because, I mean, shit, he said it himself. He's single. And if a girl does this to me, she's done. Oh. 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 Oh.
What you mean? We're trying to take over to the hotel. What you mean? Okay, and what's what that mean? You already know what type of time I was on. I was in the club. You not trying to fuck? So I can take all these trips because Priceline has all perfect time to put a hat. Good job. Let's go back to the hotel. What you mean? Okay, and what's what that mean? You already know what type of time I was on. I was in the club. You not trying to fuck? This nigga try to fuck. Nah, just pull this bitch over. Pull this bitch over right now. I'm, I'm ready to get out. Thank you. We can see where the vibe is. We can see where the vibe is. Like, you really like, aggressive, though. Alright, so what if I said no? What if I said no? You gotta go. Alright, and then when I pass it. I'm my mama in the middle. Hey, drive and she she right call, call my daddy. Stop in the middle of the street. She gotta get the fuck out. This your man? Right now. He's crazy. You, you condone this? Yay or nay? Yay or nay? Is you trying to do whatever you want to do? It's your world. See, this is what I'm saying, bro. I love her. I love you. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, we in the I'm not taking this big ass. You got me fucked up. Alright, well then, post something about this. Okay, let's go, okay, okay. How long you? Are you from Houston? No, I'm from Michigan. Detroit. Are you from Detroit? Mm-hmm. Where are you from? Oh, you're from... Eight, but from where? Uh, I'm from Asia. Eight. <laughs> Eminem and shit be from, huh? I mean, if you if that's what you want to... I guess. Detroit. You can rap. Not eight Mile, no. Can you rap? I can rap. I can rap. I'm rap rap for this song. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm screaming. Take, take it all up. To the motherfucking Marriott. Oh look, look, MK, now what I'm about? Man, I'm about to spend that ass over, get a penny. Okay. You already know how oh, oh, I'm about to end it. I already know about to lick on that pussy. What? You already know it was mushy, it was good. Oh, Only ass freestyle. Alright, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. That's enough, that's enough. That's enough. You want to stay? Call me, eh? Yeah. <laughs> you see? How much you weigh? You kind of skinny. You know what they say about the skinny nigga, huh? What you, how much you weigh, though? Huh? Huh? <laughs> How much do you weigh? 150. Okay. How much you weigh? Like 170? I ain't gonna lie, baby. You know how I'm feeling. You wanna see how I see? You saying baby boy? Yes. You know what that Melvin feels? Yeah. <laughs> you think you know what you <laughs> So if I sit on you, I'm gonna be heavy? She know me. I'm like, I love me times 12. <laughs> I'm heavy. Bro, oh, man, she smells so good. Oh my god. Where, like, this thing should be wearing. Like, where is the crew with the cameras and shit? Like, what the fuck? Like, end this shit, bro. I need, if I'm a girl, but I need, I don't need to see any more of this shit. This is dead torture at this point. Like, what the fuck's going on? It's your natural scent. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Alright, uh, what was that? I'm gonna be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> it's obvious that Stag already feels his loyalty tissue, guys. Cheyenne already said that the fact that he even invited her on the van, that it was an automatic fail. Yeah. But we had to wait, you guys, because the van was actually moving. And now it's just time to go ahead and confirm him. Where's the surprise? Just surprise. Oh, my God. He said, what? He surprised. Where is that? What is this? What the fuck is our What? I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck all of this. I ain't gonna lie. Look. Hey, I'm playing. Hold on, tell you, you've been on one. What you gotta say now, nigga? What you gotta say now, nigga? Exactly what's been going on. I ain't gonna lie. Please. What I gotta do? Go to the club and throw some money. No. You got bitches coming in your section. You got bitches coming in your section. And you're bringing bitches out to the club now. This is what we all. This is what we all. This is what we all. You a part of this? You Hey, uh, bro, I don't care about none of that. You've been doing all this faking too. Both of y'all. But what you want to do? What are you talking about? I'm done with this whole situation. Like, I'm done with you. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't even want to talk to you neither. What you, what I'm done with you. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. I'm
Hey, bro, get this camera on my face. I'm my daddy, bro. Hey, bro. Why you doing all that? So you guys, unfortunately, being that we was at a five-star hotel, hotel security came down and told us we had to move because we had no permission to be filming there. And Stag was causing a big scene and things kind of got out of hand. Unfortunately, I cannot show it because this video kept going yellow, you guys, and I had to edit most of these clips out. Maybe I'll start a Patreon later on down the line. Look for that in the description yeah. down below. And if you enjoyed this video, man, until Love next time, video, man. jack off. My son, definitely not loyal. Ladies and men, make sure you be careful who you choose because people are not always what they see. I body that. I ain't gonna lie. But if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure y'all smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. I'm gonna see y'all in the next reaction. Okay.